Washington led 2,400 soldiers in the middle of the night after retreating from Brandywine. Washington was forced to retreat from the British after the Battle of Brandywine. What are they doing, Mr. That was bad retreat we had with the British. General Washington was one of the first men on shore after crossing the Delaware River through a thick fog and at first Washington's men seemed to be in control. Okay, let's The Poles and armies in the American Revolutionary War tramped through the winter camps in Pennsylvania. Many forts just 13 miles from the last camp occupied by the Americans before they went to winter quarters in 1777. It, because of the terrible weather, it took them an entire week to march that distance. 77, General George Washington set up a camp at Pally Fort. On October 4th, Washington launched a surprise attack on the British. Howe's main army was camped outside of Philadelphia at Germantown. The Americans attacked through a thick fog. The battle went on, however. The fog was so thick, some of the men were shot by each other. Valley Forge lay about 20 miles northwest of Philadelphia. It was a narrow valley several miles long, two miles long and covered with oaks and pine trees stretched from its eastern end. The valley was named for a blacksmith shop that had stood there for three years. On arriving, the troops were campfires. Then exhausted, hungry, and stuck. Then exhausted, hungry, and freezing. They sat and stared into flames. They had no. eaten nothing but food from their, they had eaten nothing but scraps of food from their knapsacks during the march. The Americans had fought the British all of 1777 with mixed results. They won some battles and lost some battles. Now in the coming months, they would face a new enemy. Death of hunger, disease, and a bitter cold. Hancock, the first person to sign the Declaration of Independence. John Hancock was born in Massachusetts in 1737. His father, a minister, died when John was seven. Their home was reserved for the minister, so they had to move it out and make room for the new preacher. John's mother couldn't afford to keep the family together. Benjamin, thanks to his, to his inventions, discoveries, and achievements, the oldest of the 56 signers was also the famous American of his time. Born in Boston in 1706, Benjamin Franklin was the 15th in a family of 17 children. James Vero. He told Washington that his troops hadn't eaten for three days. He had, he had some other officer feared they might revolt as they faced starvation. The men must be supplied. He believed that Valley Forge would make a fine camp since much of it stood on a plateau that would give a broad view of the British in case of an attack.